Hello, welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy V, the last bonus episode. In the last episode, I showed off the annoying Neo, Neo uh, Shinryu fight, and uh, yeah, that, that fight sucked. That's the hardest and worst fucking fight in the game. Anyways, I'm going to be showing off the Cloyster of the Dead. And, uh... I'm also going to be showing off the Combine Command, I guess. Probably against, like, a bunch of weak enemies. Hordes of strong enemies traverse the Cloister of the Dead. Those who are negligent will quickly perish. Are you certain you wish to enter? Yeah, I think we're all... Well, actually, no. No, not yet. Uh, I want to go over my equipment, I guess. Yeah, I got Bart's with his standard setup. Uh, and the Flame Shield, you know, because it's awesome. Negates that whole weakness to, to fire thing that uh, he has as uh, undead with the bone mail equipped. And for Lena, that's her best stuff. Sorcerer's Mantle, Age of Shield, you know, all the best stuff I can give her. Yeah, I don't really need to give her a uh, Sage of Staff anymore because it seems like with her magic stats she'll deal good damage with Holy anyways. So, I mean, having more magic is obviously better. And, uh, yeah, Twin Lances, Ribbon, Vishnu Vest, Red Slippers for, uh, Ferris here. Probably her best setup. Uh, I forego the Mixed Command, but I got, you know, plenty of other characters with the Mixed Command. And then if I do want to mime a mix with, you know, another character, then I can just use mime with her. So, I mean, it, it works out fine. But I need that Equip Ribbon's ability. Having her with Ribbon is very, very helpful. And plus, being able to equip a Vishnu Vest along with Red Slippers is also helpful. And last but not least, Kryl, Magus Rod, Aegis Shield, Circle of Black Robe, and a Crystal Orb. I went with a Crystal Orb mainly because, uh, well, it helps with magic resist. And I don't think we're, I'm going to need, like, heavy status protection for these uh, boss fights coming up. Should be fine without it. We're just going to be fighting all the bosses in the game that we fought. None of, none of the bosses that I face, or that we face, I think are optional except for maybe a few. But even then, they're, they're not really that big of a deal. So, there you go. Oh, and abilities. Yeah, I should go over that. Standard stuff. Spellblade, Rapid Fire Mix. Time Magic, White Magic Mix. Dance, Blue, and Equip Ribbons. And Dark Arts, Blue, and Mix. So, let's do it. Wing Raptor, huh? No problem. And yeah, some of these enemies are beefed up compared to their uh, early game counterparts. But it won't matter too much. Yeah, the Garula. And of course, you know, if Ferris wants to do stupid shit like Jitterbug, I have strong characters to back her up. She's dead. <laughs> Best burst damage in the game. I'm telling you. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he hit that hard earlier on in the game, huh? Yeah, but he's gonna die, and uh, she's gonna die next. Ooh. 
Ooh, the gill turtle. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do a little bit more for this guy, I think, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do Mighty Guard. Gonna have to get that going. Uh, yeah, a little time magic here. Let's do the quick spell. Alright. Astaga. And let's start buffing up Bart's here a little bit. And let's... Yeah, do spell... Well, yeah, just do Spellblade. You want to do Blazaga Spellblade for this. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with Requiem. Normally, I'd use that on this guy, but this time... Oh, no. No, we're going to use Blazaga. And uh, White Wind, I guess. See what else can we do here? Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll have to worry. Well, you know what? Let me try Shadow Flare on this guy. Let's see how much this can do. Eh, not bad, I guess. See how much the holy spell does. He might absorb holy. For all I remember. Oh no, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this guy doesn't hit that hard. Yeah, look at that. We're just fucking wailing on this asshole. And he's dead already. Yeah, pretty easy. So yeah, all those all those new weapons we got, like the Ultima Blade and the Ragnarok and the fucking, you know, all that shit. It's not even needed. Oh, liquid flame, huh? Okay. See how long you live. Probably not that long. Ooh, yeah. Uh, time for a little lightning. I think we're going to bring out Dark Arts for this one, huh? But first, yeah, Potion, Dragon Fang, Cryo. Let's mime that shit. Yeah, we're gonna break out some fucking uh, Chaos Drive. Oh yeah, look at that. Shit, man, we might as well mime that shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Should I be scared? No. No, I shouldn't. Because we got this. Minutes hour, huh? Your magic has been taken away. You can't use it here. You can't use magic. You can't use magic. That's okay. I don't need magic. And you can't even use it either. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, I don't have Odin this time, but that's alright. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, these these bosses are fucking they're such a joke. They're a joke. Oh no. Oh no, magic hammer. Not that. Protect. Okay, that's kind of shit. That's just gonna delay the inevitable, though. Oh, look at that! He's healed by lightning! See, I didn't know that about you! Yeah, you're dead anyways. Goodbye! Oh, really? Really? Yeah, you just if you want to use a Phoenix Stone with the Mix Command, all you gotta do is uh, use two Phoenix Stones. It does the same thing. So again, you don't need the Item Command. In some ways, uh, you can get like a double effect if you use a double item. Oh, really? This one's really easy, if you remember. Uh, what was that? Uh, Phoenix Down and Dark Matter, Death Potion. Yes, sir. Goodbye. Whatever, man. Okay, I'm getting x-ray flashbacks here. Don't do that! Yeah, this one is going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. Ow. You fuck. Yeah, we want to get his stag up here, obviously. And we want to get Reflect on the boss. Very important. Um, no, we just want to do potion, dragon fang parts, and just mine that shit. And a white wind for, uh, for good measure here. Yeah, those, those will actually miss a lot. Thank you! Okay, 
Jager Flare, no, that's not a big deal if you got uh, Mighty Guard in effect. Yeah, pretty much all his attacks won't work. Yeah. Well, except for Giga Flare. I guess that kind of works a little bit. <laughs> and last but not least... This guy... will be easy. That's not going to work on her. Yeah, I guess I might as well do the whole fucking thingy here. Wait, did I skip her turn? I think I skipped her turn with that accidentally. Shit. Oh well. Haha. <laughs> Status ailments. <laughs> you fool! Manticore. against this guy. I think this... Uh, yeah, you know what? This, I think this guy's weak to ice. I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that he's weak to ice. So this should get him right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, I guess he was. That's why he didn't see any damage, because the first attack instant killed him. <laughs> Goodbye! You guys are chumps, all of you. A Jack and Apes is a boss? Really? I'm gonna sword dance you into oblivion, how about that? Ha 
Oh no, reflect. I'm so scared of reflect. I need to give these bosses more HP. They don't have enough. They need to give them probably like 10 times the amount of HP that they have. Oh, this loser, huh? This guy's easy. Come on, man. These bosses are actually getting easier. Like the hardest guy we had to face so far was the Arch Demon or the Archeo Demon guy. Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, Mighty Yard here. And honestly, what a joke. Mind blast on everybody, except for Bart's, the most important guy you probably wanted to do it on, huh? Too fucking bad, bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, wait, you're still here. Did they give you more HP or something? Oh, well, you aren't gonna be, you aren't gonna be here after this, man. How long can you withstand the power of the chicken knife? Not that long, apparently. Man, he can use Mind Blast on everybody. That's not fair. Everybody else in the game can only use it on one target. Ah, oh, this loser. Why the hell are you using Cure on yourself? Return- What? What? Well, I gotta put silence on your ass? Is that even possible? Where is that? Oh. I was gonna say, where is the spell? I can't even find it. I haven't used it for so long. What the fuck is up with this turd? So, you have to kill him in one hit? Is that what this is about? I guess so. Alright. Alright, we can, we can do that. He wants to play annoying turd, huh? I, I, can, be, I can be an annoying turd too. Yes, sir. Yeah, he just wants to sit there and heal. The turd that he is. Why do you why is your defense so high? Okay. Enough with the bullshit! Let's get the spell on this turd.
I mean, did he cast Return originally when we fought him before? I don't think so. Yeah, he had auto protect at the start of the battle. Yeah, his final attack is flare. All right. You have to kill him in basically one attack. So that's different. His AI script there is different. That's not what he does when you uh, originally fight him in the fork tower. Oh, yay. Mind is being drained. Uh, let's go with Mighty Guard. So let's go with Meteor. Let's see if we can find out this guy's uh, weak point. I know which one it is. It's this one. You're fucking dead. You are fucking dead. Piece of shit. Yeah, that one's only annoying because it's trying to find the right target. Hole. Oh, sandworm. Yay. I know how to beat you. I haven't forgotten. Oh, I gotta do it again? I guess he got more HP now. Okay, stop using Comet. Yeah, you're dead.
Oh no, rivets. Actually, just fucking flare. Let's get, uh... The fuck? Hey, not having MP. Wait a minute, did she switch our rows? That stupid cunt fucked up our rows! What the hell? I didn't know she could do that! Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, it does a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah, that's fucking annoying. That's bullshit. She's got auto protect. Ooh. What the fuck? Quadruple nine holy? Hell no, bitch. I don't fucking think so. Uh, let's dispel- wait, no, no, actually, let's do quick spell here. What the fuck? Quadruple nine, holy. Oh, I, we gotta kill her, man. She can't be using that on Barts. That would be bad. Because if she can do quadruple nine against her with holy, she'll definitely- Really? This bitch is not under the protect status? Bitch. Okay, we just need to kill her and kill her now. Enough fucking around. Yeah, die, bitch. Die. <laughs> I don't know, could she use holy against you, uh, when you fought her the first time? I don't know, I killed her pretty fast, so I never got a chance to see it. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, we totally got you this time. We have four characters now. Unlike the first time we fought you. Ooh, look at that defense. How the fuck do you manage that? Alright. Uh, just assuming that she probably has some kind of auto defenses or whatever, I'll just do the spell on her. Um. Yeah, might as well do Mighty Guard. Spell Blade Flare. Let's try Dance this time. Does a little bit more. Man, her defenses are crazy high. There we go. Magic defenses, not so much, apparently. But regular physical damage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can sort of float. It's alright, we'll put it right back up. How's that? <laughs> That's it! That's it! That is all you can do to us? That weak little earth shaker thing? Well, we're just gonna keep putting flow back on so you keep having to get rid of it if that's all you can do to us. But it won't matter because you'll be dead after this anyway, so whatever. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, thank you! Man, I love roulette when it, when it hits Bart's uh, potion. Dragon Fang Bart's. Bye. Necrophobe and oh, this crap again, huh?
Oh, I was gonna say, do not hit Barts with that. Please. No, stop it. Let's just go with some Meteor. You know, I never thought I could actually mimic a fucking flare, uh, a flare sword from Bart's. Come on, Bart's, hit the other two targets. I guess that's not gonna happen. No, Bart's, hit the other two. I think I'm gonna do that. With Bart's. I'm gonna use uh, Flare Sword again. And I have Ferris mimic it. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> Watch this. This is gonna be great. If she does sword dance, that is. Oh, wait. Wait, that's not... That effect isn't an effect for sword dance? Oh, that would be awesome if it was, but... Oh, well, I guess it isn't. So you can't boost it even more with, with a flare sword. Still, it's amazing. Holy crap! Holy crap, stop it! Ow! Ow, you're killing us! That's not how this is supposed to work here. Oh well, we got him. Sorry, Cryo, we'll just have to bring you back later. <laughs> Isn't this the end of it? Isn't that like the last storyline boss? I know it's gotta be close. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you've returned safely, I assume that means you defeated the monster hordes, correct? And I bestow upon you this token and extolling your triumph and we got the medal of smiting hooray so yeah that was fun kicking a whole bunch of old bosses asses again I mean hell I think you can go through there again can't you Well, yeah, I guess you can go in there again and fight all those guys again if you want. Which is cool, I guess. Alright, so let's bring out Ferris's uh, combine ability. 
when I can find it here. This is kind of like the mix command. And finisher, yeah, I've already talked about that one. I don't like it. Blade Blitz, that one is crap. Uh, open Fire is largely crap. It's just weak. It's okay for when you first start using the job, I guess. I mean, that's all you can do. Gaia, it's okay for the earlier parts of the game. Flirt is, yeah, I might as well go over the abilities, I guess. You know, while, while we're at it here, while I'm in the menus. Um, yeah, predict and content. Yeah, I guess I can show these off too while I'm at it. Doesn't matter. I've fucking done everything you can do in this game. So I can give them shit abilities now, I, I suppose. Yeah, I like Dark Arts, man. Dark Arts is pretty good. In fact, I think there's one ability that I haven't even shown off yet. Uh, the fire ability, Meltdown. Oh yeah, the level 6 uh, summoner ability, Call. This is what you learn when you master the class. Uh, you perform a random summon for 0 MP. Who knows who or what will come. Yeah, it's, this is a crap ability. Yeah, it's 0 MP, but you can call a Chocobo. Or a Remora, or a fucking, at this point in the game, a Sylph, which is crap. So yeah, I don't like, uh, I don't like the Call ability. I think it's garbage. Considering that you use up a whole ability slot for it, is it worth it? For zero MP cost and, and the randomness? No, it's not. It's absolute shit. So yeah, I don't like that one. Uh, let's see, yeah, what does Bart's have? Animals? That's crap. Uh... Inuki? I don't even care. Aim is okay, I guess, if you're fighting enemies that got high, um... High evade. Rapid Fire, of course, is one of the best abilities in the game. Control is one of the most useful abilities in the game. Catch is only useful one time. Uh, calm, man. Yeah, that's crap. Calm is crap. I don't know why it's crap, but it is. It's crap. And that's all... Real, yeah, Lure, this makes the encounter rate go up, which uh, I don't know why you'd even need this. Because the encounter rate's already high enough, especially in the... Uh, Sealed Temple. Yeah, like all these equip abilities with the Mime class in theory would be good, but... Well, not the Equip Shields one, but like... Equip, you know, if you want to equip certain weapons with the Mimes, you can equip these, but you have to use up a whole ability slot for that. Why not just equip what the Mimes can equip? I mean, the Chicken Knife is awesome. Twin Lances are awesome. They can use staves and rods. I mean, just use what they have and then, like, you know... Find out what combinations are the best, and the Mime is the most ridiculously overpowered class in the game. Again, I see so many people online playing this game with freelancers, and I just... I shake my head and I go, well, yeah, you know, freelancers are fine to use before you get the Mime. Once you get the Mime, there's really no reason to fucking use freelancers ever again. I suppose I rest up, too. But yeah, the combine ability, there's like a whole bunch of different combinations, I guess, you can do. Uh, the blitz shot is the best, so you want to use that. Because uh, it's the best. I mean, if you got the cash to get that kind of stuff, I mean, you want the best, right? Alright, so first things first, let me show off the predict ability. Or let's not, let's get fucking moon fluted. Alright, I guess I'm showing off combine then, this fight. Alright, I'm gonna have to refer to my... My, my, my thing here. Fuma Shuriken, double damage versus humans. Uh, flame scroll with... okay. Let's do that. Yeah, not bad. That is actually pretty decent damage. I, I have to admit. Um... 
Yeah, this ability right here is the level 3 Cannoneer ability. You learn this when you master the class. So, yeah, it, not, not before... It'd be nicer if you could actually use that while you had the class. Instead of that crappy uh, cannon ability or whatever the hell it is. What's it called again? Open fire, that's what it's called, yeah. I don't like open fire all that much. Alright, so I showed off one of them. What's another one? Uh, lightning, okay, lightning school. Sure, let's try that. Again, decent damage. I think I need to go somewhere else where enemies aren't berserking us. That might help. Yeah, these guys, all right. Blitz shot and gold needle, let's try that. Needle cannon. Yeah, I believe that does a uh, thousand needles, but if you use the blitz shot, it's basically times three, so it will deal a guaranteed three thousand damage. So that's pretty good. I remember reading that, uh, so I don't even need to look at it. Mallets, put mini, mini on the on the enemies, and it deals damage. It's pretty good, actually, man. That's not bad. I'd have to say Combine and Dark Arts are probably the best abilities out of the new jobs now that I'm using them a little bit more. I guess I could try this fucking Predict shit. Future brings healing wind. This is fucking stupid. Oh, except it hurts parts, so it's bad. Alright, how about... Still wing? What, are we gonna stop him or something? What's gonna happen here? Oh yeah, put stop on him. Who cares? Again, those are actually pretty good. Those are pretty decent effects. What does that power up the bad guys? <laughs> it makes them stronger right before you, it kills them. I don't get it. I'm just going to try every combination there is. Shouldn't take that long. And then I'll just look at the wiki page. Oh yeah, but before I forget. Meltdown, let's try that. Yeah, not too shabby. It's only against a single target, though. Was that to have their MP? Or their defense, maybe? It's 
good area to farm turtle shells. Yeah, because not only does it deal good damage, but it has got the uh, the chance to inflict an ailment on them. I mean, shit, man. That's pretty damn good. I must say. Not really needed, but hey. Better than a sharp stick in the eye, as they say. Instant death cannon. I like it. All right, uh, just like it show the water one. Dark cannon, huh? Well, at least the at least there's actually a, a use for those fucking ash items, huh? Instead of like nothing at all. And then Fuma Shuriken, killer cannon. All right. Well, that seems to be all the combinations as far as. Uh, the effects. There's the effects right there for the damage attacks. And the status effects. Uh, yeah, that's what you can inflict with all those different combinations. And then I guess with the dark matter, you can inflict confused, poison, and instant death depending on the type of ammo that you use. So the shot inflicts confused, the burst inflicts uh, poison and the cannon inflicts death and yeah the uh yeah the cannon is a blitz shot burst is a blast shot and uh buck shot is the, uh, the cheapest one so that's pretty much how it works uh there's not as many combinations uh, as there is with the mixed command but hey not bad actually i mean decent damage against all targets with all these so yeah I'd have to say the cannoneer once you master the class it's pretty fucking good good damage from the back row man and you could equip it with any other uh, support ability you want or you could just put it on your mime because why, why not I mean the mime's the best period all right so now that I've done that and I've showed off all the abilities I guess real quick I'll make this video just a tad longer and talk about the jobs in this game the freelancer, the second best job in the game. If it could do what the mime could do, then I'd say then it's... I don't know. The only thing it has over the mime is more equipment options. Other than that, being pigeonholed with the attack and item commands makes the freelancer only the second best job in the game. The newer weapons don't matter, man. They don't matter. With the right mixes, you can make the mimes way more powerful than freelancers. Uh, you've seen it. There's no fucking way that a freelancers are going to be more powerful than what I did. Alright, so the knight, very, very good class when you first get it. Uh, Two-handed is great uh, in the latter parts of the game up until you get the mime class. I mean, obviously using two-handed, uh, you know, with weapons like the Excalibur and uh, Flame Tongue are really good against Undead. Um, yeah, this class is extremely good. I mean, you can learn the... The innate abilities, which you know are very useful, like cover and and all that kind of shit. 
The monk, um, other than stats, uh, it sucks. I wouldn't use it. The 50% counterattack rate is a hindrance more than anything for the majority of the game. Once you've learned everything, and once you've stolen everything that you could possibly need, then go ahead and master the monk, I guess. But at that point, you don't need him because you've already played the game. Thief? Yeah, and what can I say about the thief? It's awesome. Uh, highest agility, so you want to master the... I mean, I didn't master the thief with barks. I could have, though, for a two extra agility. Uh, but, eh, I didn't really need to. I mean, I could have had his uh, rapid fire even better. Because, uh, again, the chicken knife is um, affected by the agility stat. But it was still awesome regardless. But, yeah, you want to master the thief with most, if not all, your characters. Awesome class. A plus from me. The Dragoon, other than the jump command in certain situations, fighting like Shinryu with Wyvern Lances, I don't recommend this class. The abilities suck. The stats suck. Uh, everything about this job flat out sucks. The Ninja, this job is amazing because you can dual wield. Obviously, uh, Ferris took advantage of that. Uh, the throw command is extremely good uh, in the earlier parts of the game uh, with the with the uh, the elemental stuff that you can throw, like the scrolls. The, the, yeah, the elemental scrolls are just awesome, man. And then uh, you know when you get a chance to throw Fuma shurikens, that's also a good thing too. Or, or weapons you don't care about. I was throwing a couple lances in there a little bit earlier on. Yeah, the Samurai's good. Uh, guilt, guilt Toss is good for a lot of boss battles. Uh, the Shiodori uh, passive ability that pass, passes over to the Freelancer Mime is really good. Berserker is good to master for the stamina and the HP on all your characters. That's it. No reason to use Berserker other than that. Just use it to master it to get the, uh, the stamina. It's only one less stamina than the Monk. And you get good, uh, you get good HP growth by um, by mastering the Berserker. So that's the only reason to master it. Besides that, stay away. Ranger, rapid fire. That's the only reason you want to use Ranger. I guess bows are all right, and the aim command does have its uses too. Uh, sometimes, but other than that, I wouldn't bother with Ranger. The Mystic Knight, extremely useful for your uh, rapid fire character. Flare sword. Uh, and rapid fire or any other elemental sword for that matter if you're gonna exploit a weakness is very very good So yeah a plus for me man mystic knight is amazing White mage uh, yeah, I like the white mage white ma white, white magic is useful It's not as useful at, in this game as it is in other Final Fantasy games, but uh, It does have its uses obviously you're gonna want to use white magic in between battles to heal your characters so, yeah, I mean, white magic is good for that. In battle, though, uh, the mixed command beats out white magic any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Especially if you're using the bone mail on, it, on any of your characters. Because, yeah, I mean, typically with white magic, you're going to want them like multi-target Kiraga spells. But if you're using the bone mail, you don't want to do that. So using the mixed command uh, is a better alternative to healing, for healing. Because, you know, you're going to use death potions to heal your... Uh, your bone mail user, and you can't do that with a with a white mage. So, black ma black mage, uh, yeah, pretty good um, in the earlier parts of the game. I I didn't really use it for the latter parts, just because summons are more powerful. If you multi-target black magic spells, they're not as powerful as summons, and uh, that's the big problem with the black mage in this game. Uh, if you're only fighting single targets, it's pretty good, but I don't know, by that time you've already mastered... I mean, if you're fighting enemies that are strong enough to be in a battle by themselves, you know, and not have, like, you know, a group of enemies with them, then you're probably using better jobs or mimes by that point. So, while getting the spells is good, obviously, for the Mystic Knight, uh, the Black Mage by itself is kind of, eh, it's not as good as the other classes. Dark Arts beats it out, Summoner beats it out, so, so yeah, I mean, the only, again, the only reason you get the Black Mage spells is for the Mystic Knight. Time Mage, one of the best classes in the game. I mean, the quick spell, 
Astaga, Float, Return, uh, so many useful spells. I mean, the Time Age is, you gotta have at least one Time Age in your, in your group, at least. I mean, hell, you can even break the game even more if you have multiple Time Ages in your party. So yeah, Time Age gets an A-plus from me. The Summoner. Definitely one of the top tier jobs. I mean, for the majority of the game, this uh, this is pretty much crowd control, man. You're just wiping your wiping the battlefield, uh, you know, with with Titan summons, with Shiva summons, uh, you know, whatever the enemies are weak to. Obviously, you want to use summons uh, that complement your gear. Like if you have the Gaia gear, you want to use the Titan summon. Uh, if you're not fighting enemies that have weaknesses and stuff like that. Blue Mage, I've already said it before, but I'll say it again. This is one of the best jobs in the game. A-plus for me. So many great abilities. Mighty Guard, White Wind. Mighty Guard and White Wind alone make this job worth using. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. The Red Mage gets no love from me. Double Cast is garbage. You have to give up an ability slot. And you can only double cast up to level 3 magic. That is a problem. That is a huge problem. You don't need to double cast in this game. To power up your spells, use mixes. Your mixes will do a lot more. Your mixes will make your spells do more damage. And if you're, they're doing more damage, you won't need to double cast. All right. So unless you're using a time mage, maybe unless you have a character that's that all, all they do is time magic, I wouldn't even bother with double cast, man. I mean, if you want double cast, you got the quick spell with the time age, and that's really all you need. Beastmaster, um, the control ability. That's and then catch for that one instance where you gotta catch the behemoth. That's the only, it's the only reason to use this job. So it gets a C from me, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really give grades to all the other jobs, but if I had nothing bad to say about it, you can assume it's an A plus. The chemist, the mix command. And Pharmacology, A fucking plus. Those two abilities right there give this job, in my opinion, a fucking A plus. Geomancer, I'll, I'll give this one a C because, you know, sometimes uh, seeing pit, well, seeing pits is, is definitely useful. And then the Gaia command at times when you don't want to use MP is, is pretty useful in the earlier parts of the game. So I, I'll give this one a C, I guess. It's all right. I have nothing really bad to say about it, other than it's not really that useful later on. Bard? I'll give the Bard a B. B for Bard. You know why? The Requiem and the Sync Command. I mean, the Requiem is so much is so useful when you're fighting the Gill Turtle that it gets a B from me, just from that alone. And the other songs, I guess they're okay, but if you know about mixes, then you don't need them. But Requiem alone makes it worth it. Dancer? A plus. This is one of the grossly underrated jobs in this game, in my opinion. If you get the right gear and you can get sword dance procking 50% of the time, and you got twin lances on a mime or a powered up character, as you saw, you can do a ton of damage. It is randomized, but it is very good. The necromancer. I didn't use this until this playthrough, and I have to say, I do like dark arts. Master this class for the Dark Arts. Uh, other than that, I don't really care about the equipment choices, and I don't really care about being undead. I mean, if I want a character to be undead, I can just equip them with Bone Mail. Oracle, you want to master this for the magic stat. That's it. And maybe for the ability up. I guess you can, you know, get abilities faster with ability up, which is nice. So I'll give this, I'll give this job a C. It's got a good magic. Uh, Cannoneer, yeah, it combines pretty good. I'll get, I'll give, uh, I'll give this job a, a B plus, or no, a B minus actually, because I don't really care about any of the abilities other than the uh, the, the um, combine ability. The rest of the abilities suck for it, to be honest. Gladiator, I'll give this one a C because. Uh, of the magic of the strength stat. I'm sorry. I was about to say magic, but yeah master this for the plus 20 strength uh, plus 26 strength modifier tied with the monk Instead of mastering the monk Master the gladiator instead You'll get the same stat modifier and you won't have that annoying fucking retarded ass 
50% uh, counter rate, because in this game, that's bad. And then if I could give the Mime class an A-plus twice, or hell, even three times, I would. This is the best job in the game, period. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Final Fantasy V. And, uh, and that's it. I'll see you in my next LP, whatever the hell that's going to be. I haven't decided yet. Bye-bye.